I'm sure they had the right idea with the chest painted message of support, but next time, get to the game early so you can grab the front row and be seen. Wright versus Kemmer in the 2A state championship. First set, Wright wearing the black and yellow. Heather Rubus was not messing around. I would hate to get on her bad side, but her team is down five to two in the early goings. For a while, she was bringing the Lady Panthers back by herself. This is almost the same play, and it had the same result. Boom. Someone needs to block that. They still trail six to three. Skipping ahead, this was a match of the last two state champs versus each other. Roxana Kelly was on the state championship team for Kemmerer two years ago, and she and her teammates want their title back. They need three more points to catch up. It's 21 to 18. But the opposition was not taking any of that. Rubis's kill is deflected and goes out of bounds. That would end the first set as the defending champs would win 25 to 21 and take a one nothing lead in the match. Now in set number two, Wright is on the left. Rubis was doing pretty much everything when the camera was turned towards the two-way court. That ace would put her squad up eight to seven. The Lady Rangers needed to step up with some defense. Grace Gregory with the rejection. That's the spark her team needed, and they would take a brief lead 13 to 12. But that spark would be snuffed. Cody Edwards is dealing, and she's serving up aces. That will swing the pendulum the other way almost every time. The Lady Panthers would reclaim the advantage. It's 14 to 13. What can go one way can also go the other. Michaela Kral is going to return that favor. Kemmer would go on to win the set 26 to 24 to tie the match at one, making them the first 2A team to win a set against Wright all season. We move on to set number three. The Lady Rangers are on the near side. Gregory's kill is blocked, but the ball goes out of bounds. They will take a point any which way they can because they trail 20 to 12. The Lady Panthers could play that game as well. Rubus knocks one off of a defender's fingertips. The end result is a point, and that makes the score 22 to 13 at this juncture. Let's get someone new in these highlights. How about Katie Strohshine? The senior wanted to end her high school career on a good note. Wright would win the third set 25-15 to take a two sets to one lead in the match. Set number four, we got to this one a bit late because we were occupied with other matches. Strohshine was stepping her game up and she has the Lady Panthers one step closer to winning it all. It's 23 to 15. In fact, Strohshine was taking matters into her own hands for a while. She wanted to get the job over with now and it's done. Wright repeats as state champs winning this one in four sets, 25-21, 24-26, 25-15, and 25-15. It's their third title in the last five years, and they finished this year with a record of 33-1. and one.